This is a new screening tool that is providing answers for families who have gone years without a firm diagnosis, and the hope is it will be adopted by schools nationwide. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman explains how it works and how you can download this tool yourself for free. I believe that if we could have um, put in place the proper supports for Dave, we would not have gone down the road of depression. Patty Dion's son Dave wasn't diagnosed with Asperger's until he was 34. After decades of therapies and drugs for other disorders, he took his own life shortly after the diagnosis. You can just imagine how devastating that was for our family, but the needless suffering and challenges that our son went through because we did not have a correct diagnosis. Enter Chris Smith at the Southwest Autism Research and Resource Center or SARC. He interviewed 30 people with Asperger's about their symptoms, crunched the data and came up with a quick way to screen children. One of the benefits of the Dave screening questionnaire or the, or the social challenges screening questionnaire is that it's quick and easy to complete. It's 15 yes or no questions. Parents or teachers answer the questions. Children who get six or more yeses are directed to see a specialist. This project is really about offering opportunities to detect those individuals before they have the more serious functional impairments. Tom Dobler brought the screener to a public charter school system and he expects a big impact. It's just another step in, in breaking down misunderstanding about autism spectrum disorder in schools and, and outside of schools and, and that's something that I, I just jumped on. Smith's hope is for universal screenings for social challenges in elementary school, just like hearing and vision screenings. You can also download the screener for free and the app is called Think Asperger's and you can find it on iTunes or Google Play. Lauren Freeman, KPRC Channel 2 News.